Yo, what's up guys, what's going on? Frankie D, the coach here, and today I'm gonna talk about the scale and exactly how you utilize it to interpret what the fuck is going on with the scale, right? It does different things, just, just for the record. Uh, before I get into that, I've got a free report. It's called Seven Steps to Shredded. If you are interested in getting shredded, head down below, click the first link in the description. At the end of this video, there'll be a pop-up for you, right? Now, let's talk about the scale. I'll give you a, a quick story or a quick example of what happened on the scale for me this week, okay? Just this week, I, uh, I usually have like, um, and I'm not saying it's the best way to do things. It's, it's probably not the best way to do things, but it's something that I just, enjoy the most and it's in my routine but i usually have a like a cheat day like an epic cheat day on sunday or sunday night and then i wake up monday morning and i'm and i'm good most of the week until like sunday for the most part really really good and then and then sunday kind of go up the deep end i just find that that's like i'm not saying it's the best way to lose body fat and stay lean it's probably not you probably want to spread out your your cheat stuff story for another video right but um but what'll happen Monday morning is I'm gonna be a lot heavier than I was, we'll say on my best day, which might be like a Saturday morning. I'm gonna be a lot heavier than I, than I was. So if I weigh in Saturday morning after a full week of pretty good nutrition, uh, I'm gonna be about 220. If I weigh in after a Sunday night on Monday morning, I'm like 228, and that's, that's what I was this week. I was 228, and, and this morning uh, is Wednesday. I went on the scale, I was 219. So that's a nine or 10 pound swing in three fucking days, in three days. And that's me, and I'm not saying you use the same strategy or you do the same thing, but people, they fucking don't get it, man. You think you're gonna jump on the scale and it's gonna be the same thing? Like the scale is gonna move from morning to night. So when you jump on the scale in the morning, Okay, you're gonna be a certain weight, and then as soon as you start putting food in your body, like if you jump on the scale in the morning, okay, best time to weigh yourself, by the way, is, is right in the morning, okay, fasted, so you slept, you didn't eat anything. Before you start eating and drinking stuff, and, and that's when you're gonna get a, a pretty good measurement. And the best way to measure yourself, again, is under the same exact circumstances. So for example, if you jump on the scale in the morning and then go to weigh yourself again at night, you might be, two, three, four pounds heavier just in a day, just from eating just the food that you're gonna eat normally, okay, and the, the um, liquid that you're gonna drink normally, right? So you'll fluctuate in a day, morning to night. And if you, you know, if you tend to eat a little bit more on the weekend, which most people do, because there's just more time involved for you to maybe not so be so hot on your diet, just a normal thing, most people work Monday through Friday, just in general, Right? And in general, people have more time in the weekend that's usually when people consume more food, more alcohol, whatever it might be. Um, you're going you're gonna to be much better towards the end of a week of relatively clean eating and less alcohol. You're going to be better towards the end of that week when you get that stuff out of your system. You're probably going to be lighter than you would directly on a Monday morning after a weekend of doing that stuff. It's going it's to change. It's going to fluctuate. So here's, what you're, here's the best way to uh, measure yourself. Best way to measure yourself, again, is fasted in the morning, and then when you measure and you compare again, do it the same way. And here's the next the level of that, so you understand. Fasted in the morning. The next level is the same time like during the week. You can certainly do a rolling average. Some people will do a rolling average where you measure yourself every morning, you write that down every day, and then you do a, do a percentage of, of seven days, right? You can do that rolling average. The way I would do it for, if you don't wanna be so psycho about it, you can be psycho, okay, if you have to, no problem. If you don't wanna be so psycho, you do it um, like once a week, again, on your best day. For me, it's a Saturday morning after a week of doing really good, I'll measure Saturday morning, I'll compare Saturday to Saturday. Um, for dudes, probably a good idea, just a caveat for you girls, on a weekly basis, So. Females are, are the worst with this. You guys are the ones driving yourself most crazy because you'll jump on the scale several times a day and you don't understand on a weekly basis your hormones are fluctuating so that you're, or you probably do understand that you're, um, that you're retaining water one week and you're not retaining water the next and it just kind of goes up and down like this. So the way you need to do this is you need to compare the results, same time, same situation from week one, we'll say, of your menstrual cycle, okay? Um, or your, your best week, when you know you're at your best and you're not retaining water, to the next month, the same week, okay, 
same day, same circumstances. That's your comparison. So it, it might take girls, sorry to say this, okay, it might take you a little bit longer to figure out if the stuff you're doing exercise-wise or the stuff you're doing nutrition-wise is gonna work for you. But, but that's how it goes, guys. You gotta understand, the fucking scale is gonna jump up and down. It's gonna jump up and down from morning to night. It's gonna jump up and down from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. And if you're a female, if you're a guy, we got a little bit easier, okay? These things are, hormone levels are linear, so we know what we're gonna get, okay? Um, girls are a little bit less predictable in that week to week they jump up and down. Again, find your best week, okay, of a monthly cycle, which is roughly four weeks, okay? Find your best week, um, measure yourself, same circumstances, wait four weeks, okay, or till that cycle comes around again, measure yourself again under those same circumstances. But that's it, guys. The fucking scale's gonna jump from morning to night and, and just kind of jump around. Pick your best time, compare your measurements of your best time um, so that you're not going crazy and you just got to understand it's not going to stay the same all the time. It just doesn't work that way, all right? So just understand that, all right, guys? So uh, hopefully this video helps you out. If you really enjoy it, uh, make sure you share it with your friends because some of them may need to understand how not to go fucking crazy looking at the scale, right? Share with your friends, like, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, and if you want 7 Steps to Shredded, grab it by clicking this link right here. I'm Frank Daniels, guys. Check you soon.